beauties, today we're going to do this makeup tutorial using the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. If you're interested, then keep on watching. Today we're going to do a very easy but beautiful makeup. My skin is reacting a little bit lately, so I'm going to start by addressing that. I already have my skincare on, but I'm going to apply just a little bit of hydration. I'm going to start with a hydrating mist. This is the Hangover from Too Faced. I love this spray. You have no idea how good it feels in the skin if you have very dry skin I really recommend that you try this because it's just wonderful <laughs> for the skin I'm going to first use one old favorite this is in my project pan this is the Becca backlight priming filter I'm trying to finish this up and I'm going to apply it in the higher parts of my face um if you know what I'm going to apply it everywhere because I feel that my skin is a little bit dry today it can feel a little bit dull and I love the glow this gives underneath the foundation even though today I'm going to use a foundation that's more in the medium to full coverage for me at least I'm so sad that Becca is closing down it's like a beautiful glow it's like I don't know it's really a glow from within no glitter no shimmer just a glow from within and I love that. I'm going to mix two different foundations. I'm going to use low-cost foundations today. These are the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. Please forgive my nails today. I haven't had time to really go and have them done. And the other one is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is an old favorite from mine and I'm going to mix them because this one is too dark for me and this one is too light for me. So and I'm going to apply them with a sponge. And I'm going to start by adding very thin layers of the foundation. I do want to create a more medium to full coverage, but I don't want a heavy foundation. That's why I prefer to start in thin layers and that way I can build a pigment without getting a thick layer of foundation. I don't really like that feeling. And the way that I do that is just creating very, very thin layers. So I'm going to apply them with my sponge and just waiting a little bit in between layers to let it sit, let it, I don't know, like lose a little bit of the water and actually get the whole pigment. I haven't really done a very high coverage foundation in such a long time. Usually for my everyday and even when I go out, I tend to go for more natural foundations I just feel that I need a little bit more today and I'm feeling like laying with a little bit more makeup today and I haven't used these foundations in a long long time and I really like them so I thought why not so that's gonna be it I don't think that I need a little bit more remember always that texture cannot be really covered with makeup so this is just gonna stay like that but I don't really care about that moving on from that I'm going to use concealer now and for that I'm going to use my favorite is the NARS radiant concealer and I'm going to apply just a little bit here and a little bit here but I don't think that I really need a lot just because this foundation has so much coverage that it has pretty much covered everything. I think that is sold, that I, I don't need a lot more. I'm going to cover just a few spots that I have here, even though I always tend to bring them back whenever I apply uh, my contour and my bronzer. I don't really apply contour. It's okay. I can deal with that. I'm going to finish my skin with the Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to press the powder with my sponge everywhere that I feel that I am going to be a little bit oily or a little bit shiny during the day. I don't think in this as baking, I just think of this as properly setting my foundation. Even though I am using a lot of powder, I am kind of pressing it in the sponge and then pressing it in my hand like this and just pressing everything into the foundation and like really getting there. In case you were wondering, yes, this is my actual hair texture. Of course, it has a little bit of help of product and a little bit of heat here and there, but mainly this is my natural texture. For my eyebrows, I'm just going to set them with a little bit of soap and I'm going to just draw a few hairs 
with the MAC shape in a shape brow tint. And I'm going to use this hourglass palette. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette, volume two. And I'm just going to mix all the colors and do a little bit of contour, a little bit of, you know, um, bronzing, just to give back a little bit of definition to my face. It's not about changing my face. I don't really want to change the way my face looks. I just want to add a little bit of warmth and you know that healthy glow. And now I'm going to take this sponge. I'm not going to add anything else to it. And I'm just going to tap, especially around here, because I don't. This is what I mean that I uncover the spots when I do this, but I don't really care. I feel like this gives a little bit of that reality back to the makeup. And I actually kind of like that. It just feels that it's that I'm wearing less makeup than I am. There it is. I'm going to add now a little bit of blush. I'm going to use this one that is in my project pan again. This is a Colombian brand named B2. And I'm using this color over here. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit of color I don't want a lot because I am going to do a colorful eyeshadow, so I don't want my cheeks to compete with that. Okay, so that's going to be for my face makeup for now. I am going to remove the foundation from my lips and hydrate a little bit while we do the eyeshadow. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to zoom you a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to start by curling my eyelashes. You know that I don't miss this step. And if you struggle curling your eyelashes, I do have a video with all the information you need. So I'm going to link it here. And if you have any questions, just let me know there in the comments. And also all the products that I'm using today, I'm going to leave them in the description. Before I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I like to do this before my eyeshadow because I like to refresh the makeup, especially because I used a lot of powder. So I want this to... Okay, this finish as well. I got enough. I want this to sink in and the makeup to be very hydrated and not to get crusty and dry while I do my eyeshadow, but I don't want to do this when I have my eyeshadow on, even though I am going to do it, but, but this is just easier. I usually do my eyes first, actually. The eyeshadow palette that we're going to use today is the Natasha Denona sunrise palette i love this palette i don't use it as much as i would like to i'm going to start with these two colors probably start with morning over here and i'm going to use a blending brush very lightly and i'm going to apply it in my crease so i'm going to start by adding this shade as a transition shade kind of so just adding a little bit of color a little bit of depth but i'm going to take my time blending this in. So I almost want this to look as a bronzer, as if my bronzer was this pale yellow orangey color. And I'm even going to take it out a little bit of my eye, like over here, almost like mixing it with my bronzer. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to use Morgan, which is the pale orange over here. And I'm basically going to do the same but I'm going to concentrate it a little bit more so it's not as blend as the other one, but still seamless. Like I still want these to kind of work as a sunrise actually. And I'm not going to take it as um, outside the eyebrow as the other one. I'm going to keep this one more inside the eye over here. I'm still blending like pretty much everything. And guys, I'm sorry about the light. It's getting darker and darker and darker. Okay, now what I'm going to do is use this Jasper one, which is the very dark orange. Not very dark, but the darkest orange. I'm going to apply it just in the outer corner over here. I probably am going to use another brush for that. I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to try to concentrate that in the outer corner. Make it as pigmented as I can before blending in. And I don't want to take it too much out. I'm still going to blend with that same brush as I used before. And I'm going to blend all the edges. Okay, so I'm going back to that morning color. I'm going to use a flatter brush, smudger brush. And I'm going to apply that color underneath my eyes. 
and I'm going to make sure that I blend that pretty good and then I'm going for the Jasper which is the dark orange just in the tip of the brush and I'm just going to connect this outer corner with the top one and whatever is left on the brush I'm going to blend in the rest of the eye. Now I'm going to use the same flat brush and I'm going to use the color Azalea, this one over here that has shimmer in it. I'm sorry for my nails. And I'm going to just press it in all of this inner corner and even the middle of the eyes. I am actually going to take it and just wet a little bit my brush. So it's a little bit more shimmery and like metallic. I love this makeup. You have no idea how many compliments I get every time I use this. And I'm not really trying to blend that much. I'm just trying to pack the color in. And now just with the tip of this brush I'm going to make sure that every edge is blend but I don't want to move the colors from where they are. That's really it for the eyeshadow. I'm now going to add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use my favorite mascara at the moment which is the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I'm using both the waterproof and the non-waterproof version. I always like to mix mascaras. I feel that gives a best, I know, final look. So I'm going to apply both. Would you like a video where I teach you how to apply mascara. I feel like one of those things, I don't know, like these is small things as curling your eyelashes, using concealer, I don't know, like the small basic things are things that no one really address anymore just because, I don't know, we think that everyone knows it and I give makeup lessons like in person and it's amazing how well not everyone knows okay that is enough I think I really like but I'm still missing a little bit in my face now I feel that the eyes are too strong and my face doesn't have enough so I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer again just to finish the look and a little bit more blush I don't know if you can tell but this bronzers have a little bit of i don't know like a glow to them it's not highlighter it's not shimmer it's not glitter it's just a glow and i think that the, for this kind of look at least for my preference that's enough i don't want to add even more highlighter my natural glow it's going to come through the foundation so i don't want to be overly um highlighted if that is you know, a thing, I think that is definitely. So what I'm going to do now is lips. I'm going to use the Mellow uh, Lip Liner in the shade Harper. I just want to give the shade back to my lips and then I'm going to blur it out with my finger. I don't know why, by on, but unless it is like a bold color, like a red or an orange, I don't really like to have very defined lips. It's so weird but I do like to have a shape. I don't know if that makes sense for you. Anyway, this is the color in my lips and then I'm going to use the Perfect Nude from Lana Lips. This is like a lip balm. I'm just going to wear a little bit with my finger. And this is it, guys. This is the look. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up and please leave me in the comments what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, Lynn!